actually, you know, in many cases, other people should see the signs of your progress first. After all, the really what we we want to we enter the path if we enter it in a Dharma way, in a Buddhist way, to lessen our egotism, and by lessening our egotism, to allow a capacity for kindness and compassion to take the place of what was once an exploitative and and abusive relationship to others. So, in one way, we could say that others should feel the effects of our practice before we do because that's what counts after all. Of course, in a more general way, one, one, one might say this, that one shouldn't be anxiously scanning one's practice to see if it's getting better and better every day. That way, actually, it will never bring about any benefits because we're grasping at it. We're grasping at, at signs of progress and therefore trying to, as it were, our ego is trying to take hold of them and build up a new identity based on them. And anyway, one meditation session and another meditation session are always different. Different things arise. We may have a good run, so to speak, when for a few days meditation is uh, seems perfect, everything is quiet, still, and so on. And then just like that, that kind of steadiness and stability is disrupted and we feel like we're back to square one. A wise meditator is used to this. They've been around this particular uh, dance hall hundreds, thousands of times. So they give up scanning and looking for progress in that way. And that is actually a sign of progress, that one is content with just practicing day in, day out, as a beginner, again and again, starting again, with whatever is there, whatever is arising to mind. So that's an, it looks small, but it's actually an, an enormous change. A whole bunch of neurosis and tightness has gone when we get, when we, when we find this ease in our relationship with our practice. So although the best sign is really how we are with others, this is also some small sign of progress. Mm -hmm.